So Resident Evil 4 has been one of the most talked about games of 2023 because I, I don't know. I guess I went into a time machine. I went back 20 years when I had a few less grays and Metroid Prime is a big thing once again, too. Everyone's talking about GameCube games. Screw the PlayStation 5, the Xbox Series X. No, no, no. It's all about GameCube games getting a new coat of paint. But obviously, Resident Evil 4 is getting a remake. It's coming out very soon. I wasn't one of the cool kids who got an early copy of the game. So what's a man like me supposed to do? I've already played through Resident Evil 4, the original version, a million different times on a million different platforms. So I'm seeking something a little bit different. And I found this, the Resident Evil 4 D-Make. Yes, D-Make, not Remake. Now, D-Makes are something that have been gaining in popularity as time has gone on because, well, people always wonder, what would such and such game kind of look like running on a PlayStation 1? There's been many instances of this, and I discovered this Resident Evil 4 D-Make, and I thought, now's the perfect time to check this out. Now, this is being done by a person, individual, company, entity, I'm not quite sure, called Rustic Games BR. And I'm assuming that BR stands for Brazil. And if so, that's freaking cool, because I like Brazil. RGT is a fan of Brazil. Why? Many reasons. One, hot women. Two, Master System support out the butt for the Sega Master System. Like, they were making Master System games in, like, early 2000s out there with Tech Toy. And three, Sepultura. Not so much the Derek Sepultura, but the Max Sepultura, because... I mean, that's just good music. But enough of me blabbing about stuff. Let's check out this Resident Evil 4 D-Make. I will have a link to it in the description box down below. I'm going in completely blind. This is a demo of the game, and I'm very excited to check it out with you guys. Alrighty, so my assumptions about it being Brazilian-based is seems to be correct here because we have Nova Holgo. Um, I'm assuming that means start the game, configs, and Sair, maybe that means exit. RE4, this looks like it's going to be very, very cool. I don't think, okay, so yeah, I'll have to use uh, mouse, or not mouse, but obviously keyboard controls for this, but I think that's fine, because when you play the original Resident Evil 4, the thing that kind of struck me as odd when I first played it was like, I'm just coming off of Code Veronica, I'm expecting tank controls, and this is a freaking action game with some horror elements. What happened to my survival horror? And that's why initially... I wasn't a huge fan of the game. Like, I, I liked it, but I didn't love it. It wasn't until the Wii version of Resident Evil that I really fell in love with the game because of the motion controls of all things. And then as time has gone on, I've played it once again. You know, like the version that came out on the Switch and the PlayStation 4, I've played those. You know, great games, games that I definitely enjoy playing. But I always felt like the Wii version was like the best version, although it did make it a little bit easier. So we have our basic controls here, um, statuses, all sorts of stuff. So, yeah, let's just hop into this, man. Wow. This looks super cool. You know, this almost looks like um, Alone in the Dark, the new nightmare uh, for PlayStation 1. And um, whatchamacallit, uh, Dreamcast, it came out. So, obviously, we have Leon Kennedy here. Um, you know, very low pixel, very low sprite. Now, this is actually done in Unity, meaning that you don't need, like, a PlayStation 1 emulator or anything like Duck Station in order to play this. So, let's go ahead and equip our knife just in case of anything. Obviously, we have the beautiful tank controls as far as movement is concerned. Shift, and then that, and then, okay, we could stab holding control and hitting enter. What else can we do? We can adjust the movement level. Okay, that's pretty cool. Obviously, a very quiet game. Um, Not a lot going on. This is obviously one of the village houses as well. Let's go downstairs here. All right. This kind of reminds me of that, that room in Resident Evil 1, the foyer. Oh, God, get away from me. And stop saying terrible things about me. I, I will stab you. I stabbeth thee. I stabbeth thee. Get away, you crazy villager. This is actually pretty well done, though. Like, you know, you got the bald villager guy, and, uh, I mean, he's stabbing the hell out of me. I I'm trying to defend myself here. God almighty, how many tits do you take? All right. If I could stab you while you were on the ground, I would. But obviously, I can't. So, we got a nice little painting here. This is, looks like it's the, um, the center of town area here. What's going on down this area? Oh, the classic camera angle. Like, I miss those camera angles, dude. I, 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 I sincerely miss them. Can we go in this door? It's locked from the other side. Hey, you know what? Maybe we'll get a key for it. Let's see here. Let's go into this area. Oh, I got a little bit of a main area. Something on the table here. 
Well, I take the handgun ammo. Okay, we're in danger. Danger, obviously. Like the freaking mystical song. Danger! Danger! Get on the floor! Feel him right here! Um, ooh, handgun. All right, that'll be cool. Let's go ahead. Like, I feel like the menu, like the menu text and stuff like that, like this is too clean for me. Like, I get why it's done like this. You know, the, the stuff like the knife and the, the bullets and ammunition and stuff like that. I understand why it's done like that. But I feel like it's too clean for me from a perspective of, like, this is supposed to be, you know, Resident Evil on PlayStation 1. Um, let's go ahead and equip our knife. I'm actually getting good at these uh, keyboard controls here. Maybe your boy will become a uh, big PC gamer. Nerd! It's a painting of a lake. Maybe it's around here somewhere. Okay, so that's obviously the lake where, I don't know, is, is there spoilers with Resident Evil 4 still? Like, I mean, obviously something happens within that lake. There's a bit of a, a bit of an event here. We got the little dude here. I don't know. Are we acknowledging him? We're not acknowledging him. We're not. I forget his name. It's been, it's been a while since I played through the game. What's going on in here? Oh, someone's in the kitchen with RGT. Someone's in the kitchen, I know. Damn, son. Oh, them bullets. Are you dead? No, you're still moving. Stay down. God almighty. Like, it's still tense. Like, yeah, the graphics are kind of crappy, but it's still, like, tense and, and, you know, interesting. Like, I'm digging this. Any secrets over here? Looks like the people here carry out their lives like ordinary people. They even read books. How do you know they read the books? They might just collect the books. Like, shit, I haven't played Madden 96 on my Sega Genesis in forever. Does that mean I'm, I'm the uncultured swine? Because, you know, I haven't touched that game in forever. It's just kind of sitting on my shelf. Can I move this? Is there any anything in here? Dude said, oh, you got stuff on your shelf. You're educated. Shit. Let me put some books. And that's what I'm going to get. I'm going to get a bunch of books as my backdrop. And then people will just think I'm super educated and smart. I went to high school. I graduated high school. I dropped out of community college, though, because I just wanted to play video games. And this must be a painting of that church. I hope Ashley's still okay. Okay, that's cool. I completely missed that on our first thing here. Where do we go now? So that door is locked. Let's see. I don't got... Is that a typewriter? Can we save progress here? It's an old typewriter. If I had an ink ribbon, I could save. Okay, so we don't have any ink ribbons. Let's see what's over here. So this is the actual kitchen area. Oh, look at that dude clipping through the wall. You need to tighten that up, boys. Or girls, you know. Girls make video games too, man. Don't be, don't be sexist. So this is kind of the actual kitchen. Looks like I got like a little microwave. Nothing going on here though. This really reminds me a lot of Resident Evil Game Boy Color. All right, let's go through this door. Well, that was a bit of an abrupt ending. Like, what the hell? I was just getting into the groove of things, having fun with it, figuring, you know, stuff out. Um, I think as a proof of concept, that's that's actually really cool. I wouldn't necessarily call that really a demo. But it's definitely an interesting proof of concept. Like I said, if you want to check this game out being done by Rustic Games BR, I'll have a link to it in the description box down below so you can download it and mess around with it. I hope to get an update on this. You know, they have a pretty active YouTube channel where they upload some videos. I'm sure Brett is using some of the gameplay footage that they're showing from their Resident Evil 4 gameplay uh, demake of this game so yeah you know it looks cool it looks pretty promising i want to see some meat on the bones but this is definitely something i would actually play through again just to experience the game as like a demake because i think it's super cool let me know in the comment section down below if you found this super cool and interesting and if so thank you because hey this might not have been the most interesting video in the world but it's something i wanted to talk about it's something i wanted to check out so hopefully you wanted to check it out too and as always guys thank you for checking out this video if you are new to the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button like comment and share hit the bell notification as well and as always i'll catch you guys on the next video later